He's going to say, well, there are also calendar issues. One person considers one day more sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. So in the Roman community, Paul pictures division around these issues of what? Jewish holidays, uh, pagan holidays, and the food they eat. So what does he do? You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Why do you treat them with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It's written, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will acknowledge God. So then each of us will give an account for ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Now, I'm not going to ask for a show of hands, but I imagine there are some among us who are thinking, wait a second, Alan, we're, we're now, what, 11 or 12 chapters past that great good news that we don't win our salvation by the things we do, right? That God loves us, period, that we only connect to that love through faith, not through being better at meat or, or worse at meat, right? That we, that I thought this was about grace, Alan, and here it seems like judgment camp comes back into play. Well, in, in Paul's letters, there is a non, <laughs> I, I, how do you put this? There is a form of judgment that is of Christians, but is not, you go to heaven, you go to hell. There's, there's a, a, a judgment of Christ of Christians that isn't consigning some to eternal fire. This is about uh, what Paul talks about in 2 Corinthians 5.10. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each of us may receive what is due for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. And he's talking to Christians, right? So there's a judgment of Christian behavior but it's not salvation versus non-salvation. It's, it's going to get a little clearer in, in 1 Corinthians 3, in the quote at the bottom of the page. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or straw, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it's burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though the, even though only as one escaping through the flames. So, so some of you, uh, I had one of you or two of you write to me saying, wait a second, we've got a, a lot of different judgments going on. Could you, could you sort this for us? Here is uh, what we imagine going on in uh, Revelation, there seems to be judgment going on that weighs Christians' deeds, not in order to consign them, but in order to reward them for good deeds that hold. Here, Paul says, the ones that aren't wood, hay, and stubble, right? That don't burn up in the fire. I haven't got a long time to nurse your questions on that right now. If you have questions about it, put it in the chat and we'll get back to it either at, at 40 minutes in or in the after party, all right? But that's just to give you a place to put this specific kind of judgment, which is confusing to many when Paul gets back to it after having preached grace. Let us therefore, Paul continues, make every effort to do what leads to peace and a mutual, mutual edification. Don't destroy the work of God for the sake of food. All food is clean, but it's wrong for a person to eat anything that causes someone else to stumble. It's better not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else that will cause your brother or sister to fall. 